Today we're going to have a look at this sawmill edger that I have been building for the last couple of months. Now what a sawmill edger does, when you have a board that sawed from a log in a sawmill, the two outer edges of the board will still have bark on them. And they go through an edger primarily to cut off the outside pieces which have bark and leave you with a nice plain piece of lumber like this with no bark on either side. So on this edger initially I wanted to run it with one of my small gasoline engines that I built but they're only one inch bore and they just they didn't have enough power to run it well. So I've enlisted the help of my 3 8 electric drill in a holder, a custom holder I made for it, and it's going to become my motive power for the video. But I'll walk you through this edger. Now, this is the infeed table, and you lay a board up on the infeed table, put it against the fence, and then slide it in. When it gets in to a certain position, I have feed rollers that will grab the piece of wood, feed it through the twin saws, and feed it out the other side. Now the twin saw blades are adjustable. I can move them back and forth to determine what width of board I want to cut. And the fence is also adjustable, so I can adjust for how wide the board is that I cut off on the near side because again the board is fed in against the fence. The, um, the rollers which feed the wood through are driven by a chain drive from this small reducer, a gear reducer, and unfortunately the feed rolls have to turn in the exact opposite direction to the saw blades. And that's why we have a pair of uh, gears in there. So this top shaft revolves one direction and the shaft on the bottom revolves in the reverse direction. And that way we end up with the saw moving in the correct rotation and the feeders the feed rolls are going in the opposite direction and the finished wood after it's went through the saws comes out on this side. So that's an overview explanation. This thing is horribly noisy so what I'm going to do I am going to use this as the first half of a video clip and then I will put the second half with the machine actually running but you won't hear a sound on that so you'll only, this is the end of the sound that you will hear from my voice talking about it. 